So there are two different versions of me. There's one that succeeded in SMA and there's one that failed in SMA. And there's only one thing different between these two people. And today I'm going to show you exactly what that is because it is mental bandwidth. I'll show you how to optimize it, implement it, everything. So you can actually, you know, scale your business because chances are it's holding you back as an entrepreneur as we speak. So for those who don't know, I used to be a very hardcore gamer. And one thing about gamers is that their rooms usually aren't that clean. When I started SMA, my room wasn't clean at all. I kept failing over and over again. I didn't know why. Thought it was my outreach, thought it was everything, and I tried, watched YouTube, and things just weren't working. I was disgusted with myself, and I took a shower, and then I tidied my room, and then I cleared my phone, and then I tidied my desk, and after that, I was on fire. But Alex, how does cleaning my room have anything to do with my business? Because it has everything to do with your business. As we humans, we have a biologically limited amount of energy that we can exert on one given day. And this is not physical energy in SMA because chances are, you know, you're going to be sitting at a desk just like I am right now, typing or speaking. If it were physical, it'd be easy to ration, but it's mental. And mental is a little bit more difficult. That being said, I have a question for you. So if you're going to the gym at 6 p.m., would you do a high intensity interval training workout at 3 p.m. when you just got home from school? Chances are, probably won't right? Because you know, you're going to be too tired to actually perform when you go to the gym at 6pm. It's the same thing with our brains, right? Our brain is just like a bicep and the brain is a muscle. So if we spend 30 minutes in the morning on Instagram, the brain muscle or the bicep is tired, right? And that will affect us when we try and do our business. It's like trying to do a set of curls after you just did a curl workout two hours before and your biceps absolutely dead. We're trying to do a pull up after a back workout, you just can't do it. It's amplified when you're running a business. I used to be too caught up with other things. I would be thinking about what I'm eating for breakfast, where I'm going later in the day, all these things that really didn't matter. You allocate as many of your thoughts as possible into your actual business. You're going to get extremely high levels of effectiveness and you're just going to get more in because you're putting, or sorry, you're going to get more out because you're putting more energy in. To nail this in, let's say our brain is an empty room and our conscious mind is a figure named Bob. I'll walk you through everything that happened. We've got our room right here and let me... So you can see me. So we've got our room right here and we've got our dude, Bob, right? So chances are if we put, you know, just a desk over here, put a little chair and then we have a laptop. I don't know. Here we go. So we have laptop right here. We have the desk right here and we have a chair. Chances are if this is the only thing in our room at all. Bob is going to go. He's going to sit at this and he's actually going to go we'll just get on the computer. If on the computer, the only thing we have is, you know, like my screen, we have a discord, we have a notion and we have, you know, our, you know, browser where we do the work off of chances are we're going to only do productive things. I'm not going to get on a video game because I don't have any video games, right? So it's all about just leaving business as the only option. So you can allocate as much of your energy as possible, right? If we were to have this room and remove all this, we would have, you know, a dresser here, da, 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 this here, we've got shoes all on these walls. We've got chandelier hanging from over here we've got you know something paint back here this back there we've got stuff everywhere and we have the desk right now chances are bob can get distracted doing all of these different things and it's the exact same thing with your life and business because it's not just your room the room is just a amplified example of your surroundings it's where most of us actually work from including myself but it's the exact same with your entire life so if we only have you know x amount of energy we only have let's say 100 bits that I was talking about 100 bits of energy, we are going to be spending a lot of our bits on things that really aren't our business. So if we spend and we go minus 80 or bits, we're left with 20 bits to focus on our business and 20 bits in a business isn't going to get you that much money out because it's not a lot of energy. Whereas if we were to have just the option of working on our business, we could put 80 of our bits into our actual business instead of just other things like school, gym, whatever it might be, your girlfriend, whatever, then we're going to get a lot more out, right? Because 80 bits is a lot more than 20. So we're going to get four times the amount out. And it's the exact same thing for business and your life. Because chances are very like just defocused, right? Business is a side hustle for you. And you've got school, you've got friends, you've got video games, you've got all these other things you're doing. And I promise you, if you just focus in on the business, right? And you just make yourself a business person that's focused on the business and do as little as you can about all, all the other things that you've got in your life, you minimize it and you make down, you focus, your business will probably prevail, right? A lot further than it was doing before. So if you were to put in just share, da, 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 exactly how you're cluttering your mind. I get it. How to actually do that, right? And the best part is you can 180 how you do this in a very short period of time, right? Because it's just 
your actual environment and your habits, as we can see right here. So it's only two things that we actually have to optimize in order to do this. And super simple, we can do it in a few hours, maybe even less. So I want you to take a look at your workspace and does it look like a seven figure entrepreneur could work there? So do you have, you know, a water bottle left, like left on your desk? Do you have stuff all over the place? You know what a dirty room looks like. Do you think a seven figure entrepreneur would go in there and you'd be able to work and be able to scale this company? And if not, you're going to clean and you're going to make it as simple as possible. So don't just like move things into their place. The goal should be to get rid of as many things as possible and be very minimalistic and remove as many distractions from around you as you can because they're holding up bandwidth in your mind so as soon as you've done that with your room it's time to get onto your phone and computer because chances are you know working off your phone and computer and a lot of us actually get distracted on the internet right so we get distracted before we get on the internet and then we get distracted once we're on the internet as well so strip it down to the bare minimum right absolutely only apps you need and everything that could distract you should be deleted or moved to a place that you can't see or it's hard it's hard to find Right? I don't have any icons on my phone. That's how I did this. And it's the exact same thing with every other device I have. Right? Oh, you see on my browser over there, I only have three apps installed in my folders, my bookmarks. I only have three bookmarks. Super, super simple. Once you've done that, you've now set up your mind to be your actual ultimate focus of your business and your life. So now it's just a matter of learning how to allocate this empty bandwidth you freed up. Because if you're not going on social media, if you're not thinking about what you're going to eat for dinner, if you're not you know, getting distracted by things in your room or, you know, worried about what's happening here or what you got to do on social media, what's going on on Twitter, what's going on in world politics, you're going to have a lot of extra time, you're going to have a lot of extra energy. So for me, the best way to actually find out how to allocate this energy was to work and then walk. When I walk, I think about my business because thinking about my business starts to fill up my brain with ideas. The more energy that goes to my business, the more money that you can get out. It's as simple as that. So I hope all the value that I gave you in this video was a quick reminder from you if you didn't know this already just to make sure you are minimal make sure you're clean make sure you're lean make sure you're optimized and go fast that being said i hope you have a great rest of your day